All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting at the table, and I'm testing out some new microphones. I was running into some feedback, partially because of the light structure that I have set up here. I was trying to mount the microphones to the lights using two different setups. I was getting not only feedback, but it sounded like it was in a tin can. And that's one of the things you, you, you're trying to not have happen when you're shooting a video. Found out through accident, we have a microphone sitting right here and I have a microphone sitting up on top. One of the reasons I do that is because on occasion I reach, look up and see on my little camera screen uh, what I'm doing and what I'm not doing. And, and while we're doing this, I thought it'd be a good opportunity just to go over this cool little deal here. This is my Go Gun. And uh, this is one of the things that I absolutely love about this guy. Hold on that thought for a second. I, I want to see something. Stand by. I'm back, but I wanted to see something real quickly because, hey man, I'm just finding out some stuff that's new to me because I just started using this setup, and I, I did a lot. I did a function test a couple weeks ago, and the reason I was surprised is because there's so many variations, so many elements onto how we shoot firearms or AR-15s. It's a gas impingement system that's reliant on the gas, the amount of gas that's going back, pushing the the uh what do you call that thing the bulk carrier group <laughs> into the buffer and the buffer spring and so the reason i was kind of concerned about that is because not only that but we threw in the law uh folder on this bad boy so we've got that situation going for us. so that's why i was really surprised and yes i am going to check the diameter outside diameter of that x2 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 development group barrel. So anyway, I just thought it'd be a good opportunity for us to just sit down and chat. Uh, I am going to use this opportunity also to clean this guy. So this is a Spikes Tactical Lower uh, with the LWRC stock. Now the cool thing about this stock, and let me show you guys something, and again this is one of the reasons why I was surprised as you can see by the size of this thing. It's very small. And how small is it? Well, we'll take our calipers uh, from front to back. It is 5.31 inches in length. But look at that. It is really, really small. In addition to that, the buffer tube, my God, you can see what a normal buffer tube is not five and a quarter inches long outside of this thing. Well, I, I went to go get something. What was that that I went to go get? Well, it was, oh, let me show you this before we get started. I've got a a wired spring in this thing and I'm not going to take the time to take it out of here and cause it's very difficult and I don't want to stretch it out but look at the size of the buffer tube while we're taking out and cleaning it it is a little itty bitty thing so we'll just kind of put that back in there it's fun because uh, you have to well anyway you get the drift this is hard to do but look how small the buffer tube is on that guy this is one of the reasons why I really like it. LWRC does an absolute phenomenal job. And what it does also is it compensates for the extra length of the law tactical folder. So if I had to recommend something that would bring this thing back into the overall length or the length of pull for this guy, this is what I suggest. Okay, so what did I go get? Well, I've got this thing from a war machine. I've had this. Uh, strap, what do you call it? Sling! It's late in the evening. But uh, just on this lower between here and there, I've got three QD points. Like I said, it's got one here, one here, and then I'm running the BCM uh, buffer, or what do you, uh, the base plate on this because I love BCM products. And man, I tell you what, it rides full swing here. And then the Law Tactical has one in the base, so I can put one there. And or if I want to run it full length on a sling, not just a strap, I could put one here. So anyway, I thought it was just an interesting thing for us to go through while I was cleaning this. This is running about two and a half pounds on this trigger that I have in here that I have yet to figure out who makes the damn thing. Right. So that being said, guys, LWRC, thank you very much. Length of pull is badass and in conjunction with the law folder. It operates. It runs just fine. We took it out the other day and uh, ran it again. And then uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to zero it in because I've mounted the Platinum Series with the Griffin Reticle on top of this rifle. So with that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed the sound testing that we did uh, today. But uh, 
Yeah, we always end them like this. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom don't shoot paintballs at private citizens standing out on their front porch. It's KB32. Y'all be good. I'm out of here. Boom.